ask you this because <laughs> one way to create jobs is zeroing in on this infrastructure plan. And, and you're right. You know, people are saying, what? A trillion dollars in infrastructure. But the, the team at President Trump's office is starting to zero in on this list of 50 infrastructure projects across the country. It totals $137.5 billion. They're suggesting where President Trump's campaign promise to improve the country's infrastructure will begin. And they go through a number of plans like, you know, bridges yeah. and roads where, where they really need it. So would this plan be in peril if, in fact, they can't come to an agreement on entitlements. Well, what are you going to fund it with? We right. already have a trillion dollar deficit. Within two years, we'll be at a trillion dollars. Now, maybe you need to build an airport in Chicago or Dallas or someplace. Let the local people build it. Uh, I looked at that list. Most of them are white elephant mass transit and bus systems that Republican congressmen have been against, and properly so, for the last 30 years. Because so, it's too expensive. No, because they're a waste of money. I mean, mass transit in most areas of the country is not efficient. And if local taxpayers in Texas or Illinois or California want to build a white elephant, like the California high-speed rail, let them tax themselves. But why tax a guy in Michigan who voted out of desperation mm. for Trump because he lost his job? So you you can build some uh, glitzy uh, uh, high, high speed rail yeah. in California. Well, look, one thing that, that helped him get elected is this talk on the wall. And today, that is yeah. on the agenda at the White House. The president is making his first official move to fulfill that campaign promise of building a wall against the Mexican border through executive actions. This project is expected to cost as much as $10 billion. Lawmakers are trying to figure out how to reallocate funding to pay for that wall. He said Mexico is going to pay for it eventually. It's sparking debate. Who, who do you think pays for it? Uh, well, I don't know. It's a rounding error in the scheme of things. It sounds big. Over four years, the government will spend, mm. you know, in the order of $16 trillion, okay? This is like one-tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a percent. Mm. Uh, I think it's a stupid idea. I don't think you need it. The world's but, a stupid idea. Yeah, of course it's a right, well, Let me idea. ask you about TPP. Obviously, trade, yeah. uh, very important on the agenda this week. Yesterday, the president signed the executive order or two days ago and yeah. said, we are withdrawing from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, but now you agree with Trump. No, I, I'm for free, uh, free trade, but I think this has nothing to do with free trade. This is simply a swamp creature that came out of the law firms and lobbies of Washington, D.C., 6,000 pages of dense legalese, Rube Goldberg contraptions that will not promote exports or jobs or free trade. It is essentially selling a used car twice. How come all the S&P 500 global CEOs say we should do GPP. Well, because they go to Washington, they have a meeting, and they're all told that they ought to support it. But here's no, no, no. The, they're saying we don't. We, we, we think no, trade. They, we they, want the TPP. Yeah, I know. They, yeah. they want the TPP. But here's the deal. Of the 12 countries, two of them account for all of the trade. Uh, Mexico and uh, Canada. In other words, this is NAFTA redux. This oh. is the son of NAFTA. Of the 1.5 uh, trillion of trade in the 12 countries, 75% of it is with NAFTA. Now, wait a minute. We have free trade right. with NAFTA ready. There are no tariff barriers. There is no uh, uh, tariffs in the way. Yeah. So the point is, this isn't going to do anything to expand trade in NAFTA. In fact, Trump wants to go the other yeah, way. Yeah, it's a good point that you make, actually. And he's, he wants and, to redo well, NAFTA country, as well, by the way. If we I should... could just add, another yeah, country is Australia. We had a free trade agreement with them in uh, 205. Mm. Eliminate all tariffs on manufactured goods, on uh, agricultural goods. We have a two-to-one surplus with Australia no. because we ship caterpillars to their mining industry. Hmm. Well, there is no trade problem with Australia or Peru or Chile or any of the others. Yeah. The only one that will help maybe is Japan, but whatever you agree with Japan, it never happens anyway. All so. right. We, we will leave it there. <laughs> David, good to see you. Yeah. Thanks very much yeah. for your Great. honesty on all that. David Stockman joining us. Before we take